Good morning guys, my eyes are looking puffy. It's currently just gone six and um, I'm up early this morning because River's been waking up earlier and earlier, she usually gets up about half six. And I've been trying to wake up before her so that I can have a shower because it gets a lot harder when she's awake. Um, and I thought I would vlog today because I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to do more at home, like, day in the life type vlogs like we used to do it's a lot harder now with a baby because i've usually got her in one arm and it's it's just harder like she takes up more of your time but that's what i'm doing today i'm tired i'm really tired but yeah let's do this tuesday my eyes i feel like i need like one of those cold masks on my eyes they're so puffy the plan didn't work and we're now watching port patrol <laughs> so Mike is with River and I've got about 15 minutes to get ready. <laughs> Let's have a little quick shower. I'm gonna grab something for me to wear. Maybe this. And then grab something for River Riv to wear, who is still with Mike. Maybe these jeans, these are the cutest jeans. I got them in J. Crew about a year ago and they only just fit, but they're so cute. Some socks and a vest. And then her tops are in here. Probably just a white t shirt. That's what I'm gonna do. So, this is River's little outfit today. Like I said, the bottoms are from J. Crew, um, the tops are both from Next. But yeah. Cute. And then this is what I'm wearing, pretty standard, running around the house after little one outfit. My jeans are rag and bone, and I got on sale last summer, and then my tops are both rails. So yeah, let's go and get a little wrap bag dressed. So, apart from the bed, this is what we end up with every morning, stuff everywhere. She actually hasn't gotten into, sometimes she gets into my dressing table and then it's pandemonium. But yeah, so this is like the second part of uh, tidying up. Oh no, she has gotten something out of the bathroom, I think. Yeah. Okay, so on days where I am at home with Riv, like today, I probably usually have about five minutes to do my makeup. Mike is actually going downstairs now to give her breakfast, so um, I do have a five minute makeup window, which I'm very happy about. Um, and this video is actually um, sponsored by Max Factor for the launch of their new Miracle Touch foundation, which you guys might recognize this because it's actually been out for a while. This is one of their kind of like classic foundations, but they've reformulated it. Um, they've basically put hyaluronic acid and SPF 30 in it, which to me is music to my ears. So if you guys don't know about hyaluronic acid, it's basically moisturizing so um, or hydrating. So basically it's making the formula so much more hydrating for your skin. It's also adding SPF 30, so it's giving you protection from the sun. And if you haven't tried this foundation before, it's basically a cream, but the texture of it is really interesting. When you put it on, it's more like a liquid but it's really practical in terms of applying on the go because it's obviously not going to spill um, and it gives you the coverage of wearing a heavier cream foundation but it has the blendability of a liquid um, and it's just really practical so it actually comes with its little sponge in the lid I can show you here but I don't really use that day to day I would use it if I was kind of on the go I tend to use a beauty blender with it um, just because that's what I use to apply all of my foundations um, I use it damp and then literally it just blends so quickly it's so quick to use if you're on the go it's a godsend okay so i've moved a bit so hopefully you can see a little better it's still only just getting light so um the lighting in here is not that amazing but you guys can probably see it's actually a really buildable foundation as well um because of the texture of it it's kind of hard to explain because it's unlike anything else i've tried in terms of texture it's like solid but almost liquidy at the same time i don't know if you can see that like when you pick it up 
it's literally liquid when you apply it but it's cream in the pan and it's super buildable so when you do the first layer it's really thin it's also very cooling because of the hyaluronic acid and the shade i am using is um golden beige number 48 and they actually have 16 shades now which is amazing for a high street foundation i think they used to be nine and with this reformulation they have extended it to 16. Okay, so that's the finish of it with no other makeup. I'm gonna pop a little bit of brows, eyes, and lips on, um, and then I'm gonna go and finish off breakfast with River, but you guys will see how it wears throughout the day as well. It wears really nicely, and it's a really easy um, product to have to touch up on the go because of the sponge in the top as well. It's just like one little package. And if you are having a kind of busy day and you are, limited on time time to do your makeup or if you're having to do your makeup on the go it's a really good option so that is the max factor miracle touch Pandemonium part two strikes again. We've just had a meeting with the builder because we're putting a pizza oven in our garden. It's going right there in that corner where the washing line is. And this is, this is uh, in case you're wondering, a nail file that River's filing my camera with. So those of you who have been following for a long time will remember our old house, we put a uh, pizza oven in and we're actually doing the same thing at this house. Finally, Mike's been badgering me for two and a half years ever since we moved in. Um, so we've had the meeting today about um, digging out or flattening out part of the garden. Basically, it's not even, so we've got to make it even before <laughs> we put the pizza oven in. And you have made that very tricky. Yes, you have. River doesn't like meetings with builders, do you? <laughs> no. No, no. no. Hello. Good morning, piggy poos. How are you today? How are you today? Looking exceptionally beautiful as per usual. Hello. And you, Squidgy. Hello. And you're very beautiful too. Got a little bit of Harry Potter on the go. Me and little one. Can you see her? Hi, boo. Say hello. <laughs> Not happy. Um, she is on one this morning. She's having one of those days where she literally is just wants to be at it. So I'm taking her to soft play for an hour or so. Um, we've got some carpet cleaners coming round um, at midday. So we've got to be back for that. For where you puked on the carpet, booze. Yeah, and where Piglet peed. Um, so we're getting, we actually tried to get the stains up ourselves and we're having people come round to um, do that. So we're yeah. heading over, yeah. We're heading to soft play and we'll do some play in and then we'll come back. So we're back home now. We've got a very grumpy little bug. She had a fun hour at soft play, um, but now, I don't know. She, I think she might be getting some new teeth because um, she spent the entire drive home, which is about 20 minutes, with her hands in her mouth screaming. We're gonna go and cook her some lunch and hopefully she'll go down for a nap and then we can actually get some work done, but we shall see. You hungry, boo? Do you get some food? So River's got a little bit of everything today. Pasta, tomatoes, smoked mackerel, which she loves, little, little funny one. Um, broccoli and some hummus and crackers. Kind of a little bit of a picnic lunch. Okay, so the carpet guy has just arrived and I wanted to show you before, this is the carpet in our sitting room which Piglet has peed on. Can you see these? About 50 times. This is the before, I'll show you the after. Someone has done very well with her lunch. She's been ill the last couple of weeks. And I genuinely don't know the last time she ate, she's eaten this much food. Look at these, these two on the prowl for the snack. Squidge, you are the naughtiest. Would you like some fruit? Yeah? Well, which ones did you like? Blue blues? Blue blues? A baby bell? <laughs> okay. Ba ba ba. The whole bag. Also just got an exciting delivery from the outlet. Um, I ordered three dresses. I'm going to the Game of Thrones premiere um, on Thursday and I've ordered 
three dresses to try on. Okay, so it's definitely not the normal way to show you guys dresses hanging on the kitchen cupboards, but these are the three dresses I've ordered. Um, hopefully one of them will be good, because I don't have any other time that I can get another dress. Uh, this is actually my favourite one, like, in terms of the design, but we'll see when it comes to fit. It's from Joy, like I said, they're all from the Outnet. Um, I didn't get gifted them, I bought them. This is actually, the material is beautiful and it's got lots of ruffle details, cream with like red flowers, but it's not too floral. Really hopeful for that one. Then this one is Ganny, which again, I really like, but I feel like it might be too long. This is more of like a maxi length. Again, a wrap, it looks quite pretty. And then this one is from Grey by Jason Wu, which the fabric is actually beautiful, but I have a feeling it might be a little bit like shapeless but we'll see it's got this like cold shoulder detail and then a tie around there it's actually a really pretty color it's like just off white like slightly mint colored it looked white on online actually but it's actually quite green but yeah those are the three let me know which is your fave hopefully i'll be able to try them on for you later but um if not you'll see on instagram which one i end up wearing okay so this is the after the carpet guys just finished can you tell the difference i don't know if you'll be able to on camera he also actually did a quick clean of um, the cushions on the sofa where Squidge sits in the middle. So it was literally brown there and there. So he's cleaned them. Um, I'm actually really happy because this had some really bad piglet stains and it's also a very old carpet. Ideally, we'd like to replace this carpet one day, but we don't want to do it quite yet. So you can see there's still a few marks here, but that's underneath where the sofa goes so I'm not too bothered with those but yeah that is that it actually stinks in here this carpet cleaning stuff is smelly and you where have you been piglet piglet just ran off in the garden for the last two hours and she has returned the wanderer returns did you have a good time pig I hope so the so river's just gone down for her afternoon nap and I'm now doing a little bit of work I'm actually lying on the floor in my bedroom which to be honest is something that I do quite a lot because River is asleep up here. I find it easier sometimes um, just being like within earshot of when she wakes up rather than having the monitor because it can be a little bit patchy with the signal downstairs. Um, and also if I'm like here and there, it tends to be like quieter up here, especially on days like today when there is like building work going on right outside the kitchen window. <laughs> Literally they're digging up the garden right outside the kitchen window. Um, I'll show you that after they've gone actually because they've done a lot today. They've dug a massive hole where I was showing you earlier. But today I'm just doing boring admin to be honest with you. I've got to renew my work insurance. I've also got a couple of contracts to look through and some blog posts to write. So I'm just doing that. I've probably got about an hour and a half whilst River is asleep. I also want to try and go to the post office and potentially the supermarket for her end of day kind of meal, which is like, she usually has her tea at about 5.30 um, and then after that it's like bedtime. So um, I might see if we can pop into town. Depends what time she wakes up. Also while Rivers is asleep, I thought I would have a super quick try on of these dresses. So let me know what you think. Okay, so here's the first one. I actually like this more than I thought I would, but something about it kind of reminds me a little bit of a bed sheet. I don't know, just the way it hangs. And you can't actually tighten this. You can, or you could if you pull the stitches out, um, because these are actually separate pieces of material, but they're stitched together and I don't want to do it to a dress when I'm not sure, because I might end up sending it back. But it's kind of cool. Like, I do kind of like it. I just don't think it's... Perfect. Okay, so this is the Ganny one, which I have to say, I do quite like it. Um, and it does fit well. It's a tiny bit long at the back, but I think with heels it would be the perfect length, and I thought it was going to be too long. But I don't love it. Like, I feel like there are other dresses in my wardrobe I like more than this. So I'm hopeful for the last one. Okay, so this is the last one. I think I really like this. What do you guys think? It's actually... Um, move my camera strap which is kind of in the way it's such a gorgeous material and I really like the wrap I like the ruffle I like how it's high low as well because it's a bit more formal than a lot of my other wrap dresses which are the short ones it's a good length it's the most gorgeous fabric as well it's actually not too low either a lot of wrap dresses on me are so low that I have to pin them whereas I feel like this is quite it's a bit less kind of booby, which is definitely a good thing. Um, what do you guys think? It's very summery. I feel like I would wear it a lot in the summer. Obviously, bear in mind, I would have heels on too. So it's a bit later now. We had a 
mega throwdown when little one woke up. She was not happy. Where are you, little bug? Um, and I'm now cooking her tea. We've got some sweet corn and peas on the go. Got some leftover pasta from lunch. Yeah. And some chicken. Yummy. Rubs up for the little bug. I chucked some black olives in with the pasta as well because she loves them. Um, yeah, not a very exciting tea, but some of her faves. Okay, so it's about quarter to seven now. I've just put River down for bed. She went down like a dream as well, which is amazing because she's been really tricky this afternoon. Um, I think she was a bit tired and maybe still feeling a little bit poorly from last week. Um, and yeah, I'm now waiting for Mike to come home. Thought I would show you the hole outside in the garden whilst it's still light. So this is the hole that we created today. It was basically on a bit of a raised area. So what we're doing is continuing this gravel all out here. So we're continuing, continuing, continuing the gravel like on the same level as the rest of the gravel. And then we're putting the pizza oven in the corner there. So it's gonna be kind of sunken. Um, so the depth here that you can see, that's about, um, the height to the top of the work surface and then the pizza oven like height will come up to about there so it'll be pretty hidden like you won't be able to see it over the bush which i really like um and then it's going to be gravel all around and then it's going to have um a work surface on either side of it and then also a little wall here hopefully and we've managed to do it while saving um this peony bush which is absolutely stunning i said to mike if you pull that bush out we are getting divorced because this is my favorite bush in the whole garden it's the most beautiful like um baby pink peonies and they're just starting to come out don't know if you guys can see around here I don't have any shoes on so I can't really walk but they're just starting to come out so a couple of weeks this will be gorgeous even if this is a big muddy hole but pretty good progress for the first day Squidge is having a good sniff around you're gonna do some digging for bones Squidger or are you just gonna do a poop in it probably knowing you <laughs> oh Squidge it's also such a nice evening tonight it's one of the first evenings that's actually felt like spring like and not cold and gloomy in the evenings which is really good so yeah, I'm gonna go and do a little bit more work and hopefully do a little bit of packing. I'm actually leaving to go to Ireland tomorrow for the Game of Thrones premiere, like I said, um, which I'm very, very excited about. I can't actually believe this is the last season. It's been a journey watching Game of Thrones and I've enjoyed every minute. Um, so I'm very, very excited. I'm probably gonna vlog that trip as well. So um, I think that will be up probably a few days after this video goes up. So. Um, if you want to see it and see what goes on at the premiere, my sister's coming with me, so it should be really fun. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go and pack and do a bit of work before Mike gets home. He's going to be about an hour away, I think. So I get downstairs and this one's home and he's cooked himself egg and chips for dinner. I, to be and fair, I did say I was doing my own and thing. And a fish finger sandwich. And a fish... Oh, I did not notice the fish finger sandwich. Though heartbreaking, we're out of salad cream. Oh, Absolutely disaster. Absolutely. Disaster. You know what would be good in it, though? What's that? Hot sauce. What is wrong with my hair? I Crazy. Don't know hair. Um, I also... There was something else that I wanted to say. You dug a hole in the garden? No, I've showed them the hole in the garden. Are you happy with the hole in the garden? Yeah, it's great. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be really good. Play soon. That's fine. Um, yeah, and then you can cook tasty pizzas instead of fish finger sandwiches for dinner. So much better. Just the seven hours to warm up the oven. Yeah, there is that. There is that. I just packed my whole bag super tight and then realised I had forgotten my hair curlers. Disaster. We're also watching the final episode of Luther, which I'm so slow on the uptake for. I hadn't watched any of it until like last week and I've literally watched all five seasons and it's amazing, it's so good. This lighting is horrendous, I look like I died. Um, I am gonna try and pack my hair curlers into my super tidy packed suitcase. This is gonna be interesting. Look at these two. You two cheeky monkeys. Quite comfortable enough there, Squidge, Piggy. I'm trying to get into bed and there's literally no space for me. They won't move the dog's life, hey? Excuse me. Can you move, Squidge? Come on. Squidge, move. My goodness me. I was trying so hard to stay awake, but I can't stay awake for this last episode. I'm literally falling asleep. It's so good, though. I think it's like one of my favourite series ever. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to call it a night. I hope you guys have had a 
fabulous day and enjoyed this vlog um i'll see you very soon actually really very soon because i'm going to be vlogging my trip to ireland as well so see you soon guys